Look at all my Ravagers up top. Man, they're ready to rock. Right? They're ready to rock and roll. What's up, Dino Hunters? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Arc Aberration Let's Play. Today, we are going to... Well, I've done a little bit of building off camera. I'm going to bring you up to speed. Uh, we're going to make a new weapon, and then we're going to go look for a tame, possibly in the Blue Forest. Alright, I've got a couple of ideas. Um, Games for Kicks went ahead and set up uh, sort of an outpost in the Blue Forest. Uh, where is it? Um, Blue Forest Outpost Alpha. All right, so we're, we might go check that out. Maybe uh, do a tame in there. I'd love to get an Ankylosaur or possibly a... There was another dino in there, like a Megal Megalosaurus or something like that. Um, it's supposed to be really, really good dinosaurs. We might get that as well. I'm not really sure. I want to look for some high-level teams. Um, we're not going to do any building today. I definitely want to get some taming done. So this is my little area for all my Ravagers. All right, I think I'm going to move the ceiling up one more. And actually, I could, you know what I could probably do here? I could probably move the ceiling up a, a lot more and make it really tall and then put multiple le levels in here. Um, I might I, I might do that. I might not. I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, so this is what I got for my Ravagers for now. It allows me to go around and kind of like level them up. You know, when they're leveled up, it makes it a little bit easier to get around. Um, I also put a feeding trough in here. And um, it's very baseline right now. But um, it's okay. I got it done, you know, relatively quickly. So... Uh, that was really cool. So we got the uh, pen for the Ravagers. Alright. Uh, let me show you how I did it. So I'm um, underneath. Uh, basically, I just, you know, used uh, ceiling tiles and the this, the stone fence support thingies. And um, it's all nice and done. I had to put a pillar right here because um, I couldn't put a foundation. I couldn't put a ceiling up there. So um, it, I think it came out pretty good. It's not done yet, but uh, it's good enough to house them right now. And uh, that is awesome because it cleared up this area a lot more. Now it's it's a lot more clear up here, which is really nice. I also went. I think I did this off camera. Maybe I did a lot of it off camera. I'm not really sure. But I got all these walls up five high, um, and so my dinosaurs should be uh, very very well protected. Okay, the only thing is if something's up there, it could run down through the back, but that's never happened yet. Um, I'll probably put a wall up there as well at some point, but I'm not really overly concerned about it. All right, so let's come on in here. And um, the gasoline is is holding out really nicely. It's been a couple days, and uh, my gasoline's holding out really nicely, so I don't have to go get oil today. Um, I'll probably get oil uh, maybe within the next couple days. Uh, also, I put uh, another thing about my Ravagers. I put saddles on all of them, and I also put saddles on all of my... Um, all of my spinos because saddles actually add like what like 25 armor or something like that um yeah armor 25 so that is really nice so um some one of you guys told me that in the comments really good tip there all right also i went ahead and got some metal and i also uh remember when i was getting all that metal well i went ahead and i put down a teleporter there cage metal nodes so we can go out and get metal I, you know it takes i don't know how long it takes to uh for it to respawn but i could just grab a dinosaur and run out there and grab some more metal anytime i want it's kind of why i want the ankylosaur right Alright, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start switching to the long neck uh, rifle and using these trank darts uh, because they're better. Th they're supposed to be better than the uh, than the trank uh, arrows. Um, I'll use up the trank arrows, but then I'll be done with it. And I think I'm actually going to take this one off. We'll put this one right here, and then I'll put this one down here. Alright, so we should have a lot of tranks. We also have these things right here called uh, Tame XL Consumable. Tame those dinos faster. I think I remember seeing. It, I think this might be an instant tame. I'm not really sure. Uh, but it's part of one of the mods um, we have. We actually have quite a bit of mods. Um, there's a mod right here I haven't even looked into yet called um, Augmentation Blueprint Station, um, Augmentation Station. Like, I gotta I gotta look into that stuff. I simply don't have the time. Okay. One of you guys told me in the comments you're a little upset that I've been doing too much stuff off camera. So I'm going to right now uh, make a weapon on camera. So let's go to firearms. We're going to make ourselves an assault rifle. There we go. Uh, you gotta turn on the fabricator. There we go. We got an assault rifle. We also got some bullets there. I'm gonna make some more bullets. I, I wasn't sure if it, eh. You know what? I'm actually gonna test out the assault rifle before I make more bullets because I'm not sure how good it's gonna be. I asked some people what I should use as a weapon, and, and people in the comments said use the pump action shotgun. Um, you know, the, the pump action shotgun's pretty good. The thing I like about the rifle is you can be farther away. And I don't think there's any kind of sniper rifle. I think the long neck. Yeah. Oh, okay, so there's a sniper rifle at 83. What level am I? Ah, oh, 78. Yeah, the leveling's starting to go a little bit slower now, obviously. Alright, well, let's see how this thing works. We'll go out and shoot something. Alright. Alright, so let's go out here. Let's see if we can find something to shoot. Alright, out of my way, Pariasaur. Okay, alright, here we go. This is perfect.
I gotta tell you guys, I think this is better than the shotgun. <laughs> you could really lay, lay down a lot of damage on these guys. Like, a lot of damage. So, I think this has more uh, stopping power than the shotgun. Uh, and plus, with the shotgun, you gotta be right up on the dinosaur to do anything to it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make some more ammo for this. I'm also gonna wanna start breeding... Uh, I'm also gonna wanna start breeding my uh, Spinos. But the problem is, um, my two top Spinos are... are uh, oh, I gotta love... Oh, I actually got a level to spend. Um, I'm not sure what I should... What should I spend my points in? I'm going to hold off. What should I spend my points in? I'm worried I might need stuff like oxygen if there's any underwater stuff I don't know about. Or any kind of like thing like that. So I'm going to actually save those points. What should I put them in? Does it matter? Because I remember last time I played, like, you need to go underwater at some point. You, you needed more oxygen or something like that. I don't really remember, but... Alright, so... Alright, so I think I'm pretty much done showing you around. I'm going to go ahead and make some more ammo. And then we're going to go out and look for something really awesome to tame. All right, I think we are just about ready. I've got a couple things on me I don't want, but mostly, yeah, for the most part, we're ready to go. All right, so we've got Blue Forest Outpost, Cages River, Kicks Headquarters, uh, Entry to Blue Forest, uh, Blue Waterfall to Red, Red Gems, Rad Zone, uh, Cages Metal Nodes, and Cage HQ. Okay, so let's go to the outpost and let's take a look. You need the, um, the light guy on your shoulder and you want the lights on, uh, otherwise the nameless will be a problem. So, I do have a guy on my shoulder, right? Yes, I do. Okay. We'll save his uh, charge for when we really need it. Uh, all right. So, th this is not really much of an outpost. Um, I guess Nameless can spawn anywhere, so you can't really, like, um, set yourself up. At oh, okay. So, we got a Spino here. I think this is one of, uh, this is Kix's Spino. So, it looks like I can get, oh, here we go. There we go. All right, so you see, now that we got everything turned on, we could just destroy these guys. All right, so that's great. So you need the light, or else these guys are, like, really tough. Okay. There we go. Come on, kill that fool. Okay. Looks like that's it. Okay. All right, so he's got a taming pen over here. So that's interesting. I don't know what he would have a taming pen for. Um, I don't know what's over here. I see some crocodiles. Not really that interested in crocodiles, though. All right, let's get off this guy. All right, so let's see what we got around here. Oh, look, we got some flowers here. Okay, so what do we got over here? Why did he put this here? There's got to be something over here worth taming, right? Or maybe he just, like, you know... Oh, there's Ankylosaur. Oh, there's a, um... Okay. Okay. Seven. We got one of those, uh... Crab guys. Level 15. I want the Ankylosaur, but I don't think I can get him without the crab guy coming in. Yeah. Um, I could get a crab guy. I'm just not... I'm not prepared for him because you need, like, a ballista, and I haven't done my research on that yet. So... Oh, he's got a box here. Okay, so, oh my god, look at all that metal. I should have came here for my metal. Huh. Yeah, uh, I wonder if there's metal nodes in here. I don't know, I don't know what any of these are. That might be a metal node, who knows. Alright, let's just look around. I'd really like to get that Ankylosaur. Make getting metal so much easier. Alright, so it looks like that guy's out. Let's see if we can uh, pull one of these. I don't know if there's any kind of drop on these or, like, with the gun. I don't really know. Wrong side of the river. Now, with the Ankle... Oh, God. All right. So, we got some guys over here, too. Let's take a look around. So, we've got, uh... How do you say that? Car Carcanos? I'm not really sure. That's why I call them crab guys. All right. I'd really like to get one of these Ankle... I don't even know if these guys will run across the river to get to me. Oh, I got him. Oh, it looks like he's coming. We don't want to actually knock him out until he gets over here. Oh, there's one of the other guys I want. Oh, crap. All right, I forget what those guys are called. Something about Megalosaur or something? I don't know. All right, so let's use this. Come on, buddy. Don't pass out. Don't pass out. Come on. All right, let's go ahead and open this now. Because I don't even know if this is on manual or not. Um, it is an automatic. It'll clo I think it's going to close automatically. I want to get him in there. 
No, no, I'm right here. I'm right here. Don't go. Don't go away. I'm right here. Don't forget about me. I'm just. I'm being careful. I really don't want to knock him out ahead of time. Okay, slowpoke. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Come on. Man, you are slow. Okay, and we're just going to lock him in. This thing was not closing automatically. That's okay. All right, we got him in there. So let's knock him out. All right, guys. And down he goes. He's pretty high level, too. So that's pretty sweet. Level 125. All right, so let's see how this works. I have no idea how this is going to work. Let's just put one in there for now. I, I don't know. I have no idea what this is going to do. It just says tame dinos faster. I don't know if he's going to eat that. I don't I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, boy. All right. So let's, uh, let's see what happens with him. All right, guys. I did a little research online. And from what I understand, this tame XL thing puts their food down to zero. So they're like an instant tame. So I guess I'll force feed them and see what happens. Um, sure. Food's zero. Give him the berries. And that's how it's like an instant team. Okay. I get it. Okay, so the Team XL do isn't an instant team. It just it puts everything down to zero, so you can get an instant team. Alright, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Not instant team. They'll eat. But as they eat, see they're getting the hit points back. And you see the, the plus 57 level is a really good ad addition too. <laughs> so he's level... Uh, she's level 182. Very cool. Very... Cool. So, should I leave my Spino here, or... Because I definitely want to bring this guy back, obviously. So, I'm going to bring this guy back, and then we'll come back here. We'll try and tame something else. It's pretty cool, though, that uh, I now have a guy that can get uh, iron for me. That's going to really help. And these guys get some kind of bonus to where they're carrying iron. Uh, I'm sorry, metal. Um, they get some kind of bonus where they're carrying... Man, you get a little confused, bro. They get some kind of bonus where they're carrying metal, and um, it doesn't weigh them down as much. So, that's cool. All right, all right, guys. I got my I got my Anglosaurus back, and I think I want to take him out on, a, on an iron run just so you can see how it's done, um, how I do it, and everything, and how awesome he is. In case you're not like you know an Ark veteran, um, but first of all, let me let's take a look at this. We've got a kibble table, so I went ahead and made some kibble for all all allosaurus eggs <laughs> i think this is good for everything you can tame in the game i'm not really sure um if you guys are familiar with the uh, with the kibble table let me know because there's a lot of different stuff i can craft in there but i think this is the best thing to tame anything in the in the game i'm not really sure though all right so where's that angle oh yeah i had to make a um i had to make a saddle for the anglosaurus so let's go ahead and grab that and let's get on out there um, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not actually going to cut this because I want to show you exactly how I do it because it's, uh, it's pretty freaking fun. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put this on him. He might be stuck though. That's the only reason I might want to, all right, we're going to put some weight on him. He shouldn't be in any battle. So we can't just teleport with him because if we do, it'll take all the dinosaurs in the area. So let me get him unstuck. All right, guys, I just teleported out there. Let me get some light here. I just teleported out there, but, um, I didn't get both of the dinosaurs. I was on big boss, the boss right there and the Ankleo did not come with so I'm not sure if, they, if it wasn't close enough or what the deal is, but I'm gonna try and get out there. I want to bring um I want to bring the big boss for you know uh for protection, right? So there he okay he's within that now, so he should come out here for protection. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got him. Cool. All right, so we're just gonna leave him there. Um, hopefully we do not need him, and let's see if we could find some metal nodes. Uh, I'm not seeing any. I wonder if they didn't spawn back. Maybe um maybe it takes too long. Oh, no, they're over here. I was on the wrong side. Okay, so let's come on over here. I love these little bulb guys. I don't know what happens to them all the time. Like, I always lose them. I'm not really sure what, what the deal is. But here we go. There we go. Look at that metal. One shot, got all the metal. One shot, got all the metal. And he is still looking good um, as far as weight goes. So let me uh, put the boss on auto follow. Or follow. All right, hold on. We got to get a little closer. There we go. And let's come on over here. There's actually more metal nodes over here. So we're going to come over here and uh, look for some more metal nodes. There should be right over here to the right. And I want to get this done fairly quickly because I actually want to do some more taming today. Now that I've got that kibble. Um, so let's just come over here really quick. I might build a taming pen out here in this area. It's a pretty open flat area and I'm pretty sure I could find some halfway decent dinos. Although I don't see spinos out here. And to be perfectly honest, spinos is what I really want. So... 
All right, so we're gonna come on over here to the right. There might even be some more metal nodes around here somewhere else. Um, so we're gonna have to uh, maybe look around at some point. I don't like looking around too much out here though, because I know there there's been I've spotted basilisks out here before, so I'm gonna be a little bit careful with that. So here's the other metal node I was talking about. Two more metal nodes over here. Honestly, two are good enough. I don't need. I don't really need it. Wow, that one had a thousand. Okay, that is pretty sweet. And we leveled up this guy. Or no, that's... Nope, we did level him up. Alright, so we're gonna go with some weight. Oh god, he leveled up a bunch. Look at that, he's got 2,000 metal on him. And look at his weight. Yeah, they get bonuses when carrying what they're carrying. So that's awesome. Yeah, the, the, the dinosaurs that, that um, are good with picking up wood are the same way. Alright, so I think we're done here. Let me bring all this stuff home, guys. And we're gonna go back to the blue forest and see what else we can tame in there. Alright guys, we're back. Let me grab my kibble and let's go back to the blue forest and see what we can tame over there. I don't know what there is to tame, but um, we're going to tame whatever we can because why not? Alright, so we got the boss right over here. Um, I don't want the Ankylosaur. I probably should have moved him out earlier. Does he have a secondary thing where he rolls up? I wonder. No, I don't know what that was, but he just kind of yelled. Alright, so we just want to kind of get him out of the way so he doesn't go through the, through the teleporter. And I might have just locked this up. Nope. I got out. Cool. Okay. Alright. So let's go back. Uh, Blue Forest Outpost Alpha. And I, I hope I have a guy on my shoulder. Because if I if I don't, it's going to suck. Um, I'm pretty sure I do though. Uh, yes, I do. Okay. So wait, whenever you're in the uh, Blue Forest, there's going to be these little guys called the Nameless that spawn. And I'm talking to my wife, by the way, because she's sitting next to me. Um, there's going to be these little guys uh, called the Nameless that spawn, and if they do, you need the light on um, in order to defeat Well, you don't need it on, but it makes them like much more manageable. And if they don't die quickly enough, they, they spawn like a Reaper or something. Games are All right, guys, I couldn't find anything in the Blue Forest I wanted to tame, and then a Rock Drake spawned in the area, and I don't know how tough they are, but I didn't want to take any chances, so I GTFO'd. Um, yeah, so I, I couldn't really find anything else I wanted there. Honestly, the only thing I really wanted there was the crabs. And, um, I'm gonna have to, like, I'm gonna need a whole video to tame the crabs. Because you gotta make a ballista and stuff. And I don't really know how it works, so I'm gonna have to look into it. So, um, I will get one eventually. But, um, just not right now. Alright, so there are some ravagers out here that I want to take a look at. Alright, and I know there's one out here that's, like, level 120. Oh, where'd they go? They were right out here. Man, it's a, it's a long run if I uh, if I get aggroed out here. I could, I could probably like capture like all of them. Up oh, here they are. Wow, that's a lot. Yep. Let's just get it started. Why not? Did I miss? I missed. There we go. Come on, run your ass off, man. Those things will mess you up. I also have to make my guy here passive. I'm probably gonna lose aggro on them because I'm too far away. But I gotta make I gotta make the boss passive or this is all for nothing. Oh boy, here they are. Come on, buddy. It looks like most of them broke off though. Kinda sucks. Alright, we're just gonna keep him right here. Uh, level 45. Alright, let's go get the other ones now. Alright, door's closed. Now, it's gonna be hard to get the other ones in there with this guy, so let me tame this guy first. It'll be- it would be easier to tame them one at a time. And it looks like they're just gonna attack my doors for the whole time, so they should be okay. So, we do have this, uh, awesome gun for the tames now, um, to knock these guys down. And I've also got kibble. So we're just gonna sit here and shoot this guy. Someone said that the, um, the trank- the trank stuff doesn't work over time anymore, so you could shoot as fast as you want. So, uh, let me knock this guy out. Alright guys, we got one down. Let's go ahead and bowl a one. It'll be one less that's following us. There we go. Alright, let's go, go, go! Alright, this thing's gonna take five seconds to close, so I should be able to run in here without any issues. Hopefully they're right behind me. Okay, so we got one here. Oh, level 120. I think there's one that might be higher than 120 as well. Oh, whatever. Let's knock him out one at a time. It's, it's obviously easier, right? All right, guys, we got the we got the level 120 down. This one, these two are like level 20 and 40, so I'm just gonna kill them because, um, man, they take a lot of tranquilizer darts. Woo! All right, let's see how we let's see how we do this. Reload. Okay. The hell? There we go. Maybe we should get some like real turrets out here at some point, like some automatic turrets. That'd be pretty cool. 
go down and you should be just about dead. No ammo. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I don't know what to do because I don't want to attack him with the, uh, oh, there we go. All right, this is what I wanted. Okay. Look at all my ravagers up top. Man, they're ready to rock, right? They're ready to rock and roll. Okay, see? So we got the big ravager. That was awesome. Okay, very cool. All right, so let's take a look at these guys. These should be pretty much instant teams. Unless there's something I don't understand, which is, you know, probable. Um, level 45. So we'll put one of you in there. And we'll put one kibble, right? I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Let's go ahead and... Oh, he just ate the kibble. That was a mistake. We should have did this first. Okay, so... Ooh, that one kibble didn't do much. Okay. Well, okay, guys. I just looked it up. And apparently, um, is there no kibble for Ravagers? Am I just, like, missing something or what? Um, yeah, I, could, I couldn't find any kibble for Ravagers, so we're gonna give him prime meat. Uh, mutton would be best, but we don't have any, so we're gonna give him prime meat. I kind of find, isn't kibble like a dog brand or something? Like a dog food or something? I kind of, I kind of find it funny that the dog-like creatures in this game don't take, are the, you know, don't take kibble. It's kind of weird, right? If it's true. I mean, I looked it up. Oh, boy, the food went down, so the teaming went down. Alright, that's okay. We're gonna get you now. Yep, that was an instant team. Okay, very good. So what level are you? So we screwed up with you. You're level 66. It's all right. It'll be all right. We're going to get this one over here. He's going to be really good. Or uh, she. Okay, so we put this in there first. And consume. And prime meat. All right. Plus 21 levels. So did I do that right? Is prime meat the best thing I had available? I mean, I couldn't get mutton. I don't know where there's any mutton. Um... So I'm not sure. There might have been something better. I'm not really sure. But uh, we do have a level 140 uh, Ravager now, which is pretty cool. And that is going to be it for this video, I think. Yeah, let me know, guys. Um, do Ravagers take uh, Kibble? And I just got that wrong. Or do they not take Kibble? Because I looked it up on the... Um, I, I looked it up on the, uh, the wiki. And yeah, it, it didn't say anything about Kibble. So I'm assuming they don't take Kibble. Anyway, let me know in the comments, guys. I'm going to call this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.